emotion night here in this playoff series. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. The Tornadoes will play it in their own end. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. The Tornadoes will play it from the defensive zone. And a strong physical collision on the play there. From behind the net. Oh, and the stick for the score! Coaches love James. It infuses energy throughout the entire lineup. Being hard and heavy on the puck, being relentless on the forecheck, and then getting rewarded with a goal. Absolutely outstanding. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Larionov's won the draw center. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Looking to break out of their own end. Bill Reeves got the puck. Takes a shot. And that one's turned away. Here they come up along the wing. the puck to Grigorenko. Big stop just as time expires in the period. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? The Tornadoes are putting on a shooting clinic out there right now. Real entertaining game to watch. The coach will be real happy about being opportunistic and taking shots. Moscow's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Big time shot clock there. Stars! They tied it up! And we are back to even! Well, working hard, sticking to the game plan good habits and they're back to evens I hear coaches preaching all the time take away the eyes of the goaltender what does that mean it means you get yourself in front of that net whether it's a double stack a double screen whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck and he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly he tries to make himself as big as possible but he can't catch up to the puck play set to resume with the face off ready to go Kamenev's won the draw. We got a penalty coming up here. Long reach breaks up the momentum. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Tornadoes have been handed two for interference. unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Quick pass to Barron. Gets it out of his own end. Takes the feed. Puts it on net. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Huskov. 
This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Athenasi is recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Nizhny Novgorod's won the defensive zone draw. Pushes it across to Athanasiu. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Natural tendency for players is to reach when they've lost position on their opponent. When you reach, often you take out the feet of your opponent. This is an easy tripping call. They'll play some four on four. On a four-on-four, four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into your lane going north. The tornado's carried along the wall. Grabs the puck. Here's a shot. Oh, going wide. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. Moves it to Liliana. Teach James that's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And they clear that puck. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Whistle blown, stopping the play. That's not a difficult one for the official. He was in full stride when he hit his opponent. That's charging. to drop we've got some four on four coming up well four on four is similar to three on three there's more ice available and you can't just dump it in you want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice that's two on one all over and as he steps back out onto the ice they'll go to work with the man advantage here and he makes the save and a solid effort by the penalty killers as we are back to even strength denies him in front Huska has been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high danger shots, and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team, giving him a real opportunity to win. Covers it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. Slides it across to Abramov. Moves the puck. And will play on as that gets a piece of the glove. Tremendous sacrifice laying out to block it. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Nizhny Novgorod's gained possession along the boards. Takes a shot. Denies him on the play. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Centering feed. And he scores. What a play. Well, how many times have we seen this before? Might as well put it on repeat, James. I mean, he is such a distributor of the puck. He finds the open player, but more importantly, the puck is flat, it's crisp, and it's right on the tape. Moscow's gone up by one here, late in period number two. Well, there's not much difference in this game, James. That's why every goal matters, and they get the go-ahead heading into the intermission. If they can hold on to this, they're going to start the third period with a sense of urgency trying to hold that lead. Kamenev's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, tremendous reflexes with the glove by Huska. The Czechers have been the more active squad, and they continue to lead late in the second period. The Tudor's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Oh, what a save in front. Looks to pass it to Boca. Quick shot! And there's the horn. Two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath. Players are set. Officials are set. Third period action is coming up. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Losing the Novgorod's right where they should be in this game.
game behind James. It's been earned because they've been scrambling in their own zone. They've been disjointed and disconnected, and they haven't had any puck possession. When you don't have the puck on your stick, you can't generate any offense at all. And there's a whistle after that big-time shot. I think it busted the glass. Yeah, it didn't shatter, though. It's amazing today with the new technology of the sticks and the way these players shoot the puck that it didn't just blast and shatter and explode. Instead, it's a crack, so the maintenance crew will come out, and they'll just replace the panel. Takes the puck. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Reads the pass perfectly and picks it off. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. Shuts him down. Well, you can see everyone in and around the net looking for any garbage that's left in front. But I'm telling you, he controls everything. He's got magic that He's able to hold on to it. Nizhny Novgorod's in now. Shot! And he's got that one. Moscow's regained possession of the puck. And they'll skate it out of the zone. And he takes the pass. Nizhny Novgorod's got it in their own zone. He got all of that one. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. Looks like a trip. And let's see what the call is. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one-goal deficit. And you got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. The power play unit goes right back to work. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice, spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Takes a shot. Here they come on the attack. Takes a shot. That's not going to fool them. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Power play now over both teams back at even strength, and the power play fails to deliver at a crucial time. Oh, a clutch save! Critical time of the game, James. Everyone wants to be out there and embrace that pressure. You want to deliver, you want to be that hero, and you get left with a big, fat zero. That's a tough one to take. There's a shot with the stop. Look at the smiles on the ice here in these dying seconds. They know they're off to the Stanley Cup Finals. A critical face-off looms here. And the extra attacker is on the ice, James. So much pressure on the center to win this draw. Conference champions, tremendous accomplishment here. Well, it's outstanding, isn't it? I mean, how difficult is the path to even get to the conference finals, James? You have to be healthy. You got to find a way to weather the storms. I mean, physical engagement as well. It's real success and takes a collective effort to get to this point. Up next, it's for all the marbles. Next stop, it's the Stanley Cup, but what a moment to claim the West. Yeah, and it's one step at a time, and they knew they had to get by this conference final to be able to get to the championship. That is the Stanley Cup final, James. They need to take some rest now, be ready to go, because it's happening, and the dream's alive. And that'll do it from this one here tonight. For all of us at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. Good night.